Welcome back. A full slate of games at State Baseball today. Three area squads alive and well seeking a spot in the championship round. In the D1 semis, Hortonville taking on Franklin, but it would be the Sabres to strike first. Alex Miro with an absolute bomb. Look out below. Franklin jumps out to a one-run lead. Hortonville waits till the fifth, but the Polar Bears coming alive. Camden Kunke chops to third, throws off the mark, and Brett Summer comes home to tie the game. Little later, same frame, bases juice for Thomas Burns. The Arizona State recruit plates a pair, and the Polar Bears move in front. They would get four in the inning and go on to win 4-1. In Division Two, Denmark and Jefferson, they met in the title game each of the last two years. Today in the semis, no hits for the Vikings through four frames, but then Ethan Osak with a bouncer up the middle scores Nolan Perry. Those two both on a pretty fast relay team on the track team. Denmark by one. Next batter, Lucas Miller rips a double to the gap and left. That brings home Osak for a 2-0 lead. They keep piling it on from there, helped by three Jefferson errors. Isaac Dittmer drives in Miller a six-run inning. Vikings roll seven zip. They're looking to become one of just three teams ever to have a three-peat tomorrow. Obviously, there's still been little nerves. If you're not, if you don't have nerves, then obviously it doesn't mean that much to you. But just having the mentality of like we've been there before, and that is just a baseball game. And if we do our job, we'll get the job done. Excited, but obviously, job's not done. So still one goal on our mind. Indeed, in D3, Keel and St. Croix Falls, the Raiders playing some defense early, flashing leather in the first. Logan Fangmeyer skies it, but Cade Volker tracks it down to make the great catch. But the Saints' bats come to life in the second. Tyler Olsen rips it to the corner. There would be no looking back. Later, a Braden Olsen bomb kept the hit parade coming. Keel's first trip to state comes to an end. Hands it. Well, the Brewers.